as usual on this program, we have another Muhammad, but this time from the United Arab Emirates. Brother, you're live, and ask your question, please. Brother Muhammad, are you with us? Yeah, hello, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi Can you hear me? Yes, yes, you can, very loud and clear. Sheikh Salah, first of all, thanks a lot to you. Jazakallah khair. Wa jazakum. It's a great pleasure to be here speaking to you. Masha'Allah. You have been a source of big inspiration for me and all of family. May Allah bless you and those sitting there. Barakallah. So this blessing because you are inspiring so many homes. May Allah accept it, brother. Jazakallah khair. Brother, my question was related to the same topic which you were discussing earlier. I married a divorcee three years back, and there's a daughter from her. Okay, now I wanted to confirm if this daughter, which is her now, is my daughter also. Right now she is at age of 10 years. After she crosses a puberty age, will she be a Naam Aram for me? Okay. That is the first question. And second thing is, now for the sake of visa purposes, it is important that uh, on her passport, her father's name is, uh, you know, my name. Otherwise I cannot sponsor her okay. in Dubai. So can I, for that official purpose only, put my name on the passport or not at all? Whatever you advise, inshallah, I'll try to follow just that. Barakallah, Fikah. Jazakallah khair for the kind words, Brother Muhammad there from the United Arab Emirates. I would really like to tackle this question right Kaya. now since it's related to the previous one. Barakallah khair. When I said concerning uh, orphans or kids whom you adopt in order to raise them and gain the reward of Allah mm -hmm. subhanahu wa ta'ala and so on, I give the example, a hypothetical example, that if one day after they grow up that you wanted to marry the girl or... or and I said it's permissible. There is another thing because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala linked between two things in Surah Al Ahzab. He said, Wama ja'ala adi'iyaakum abna'akum. That those whom you adopt are mm -hmm. not your real sons. Ud'uhum li'aba'ihim. Call them after their real fathers. That is more just before Allah the Almighty. If, if I have a son and I have adopted a girl and now they both grew up in the same house. Once again, the same question, and it doesn't mean that you have to. It just answers a question. Is it permissible for them to get married? Yes, it is permissible, if they like it. If there is an agreement, if there is ijab and qabul, with the following conditions, that this girl, by any means, is not a mahram to the father, which would be automatically a mahram to the son. Also, that if the mother did not breastfeed her when she was young, so that gives us a solution. If you happen to adopt an orphan from an orphanage or whatever, there is a solution that either your sister or your wife could breastfeed this baby. Then in this case, they will be similar to yours due to suckling. But they are not your real sons as well. It doesn't give them the right of inheriting you. No, you inherit in them. But you will be treated as a mahram to each other. That is the only difference. But as far as inheritance is only related to the blood kinship, not the uh, suckling nor adoption. In your case, brother, that you have married a divorcee who has a daughter. As long as he consummated the marriage, then her daughter becomes a mahram to you permanently, like your own daughter, exactly. Under any circumstances, She's not allowed for you to marry her under any circumstances, sooner or later. So that's why you may travel with her. You should treat her like your own daughter. Exactly. As far as changing the name in the passport due to official requirements, I uh, understand if it is in a Muslim country, this previous ruling is agreed upon it. There is a general consensus if, if she is your uh, wife's daughter and you are her stepfather she will be treated like your f uh, daughter exactly and you will be able to get her a visa for Umrah or Hajj because you are her permanent male mahram. As far as going anywhere else and changing the name Allah knows best. Okay next we have Sister Manard from the United Arab Emirates.